Okay. جی السلام علیکم گروپ کے تمام دوستوں کو تمام ممبران کو السلام علیکم اور ویلکم پاکستانی زین پرتگال میں لاسٹ ٹائم کی طرح اس بار بھی ہم دتورا لیلیا آئزی کے ساتھ بیٹھے ہیں اور انشاءاللہ امید کرتا ہوں کہ آپ کے تمام سوالات کا جواب ہم حاصل کریں گے لیکن آج میں نے تھوڑا ڈیفرنٹ پلان کیا ہے میں نے کچھ کوئسچن جو ہیں وہ ادھر پیپر پہ نوٹ کیے ہیں جو مجھے لگتا ہے کہ بہت زیادہ امپورٹنٹ کوئسچن ہے اور شاید آپ سب کا جو نئے آنے والے ہیں اسپیشلی ان سب کا اس سے کافی زیادہ کنیکشن ہے سو فرسٹ آف آل آئی وڈ لائک ٹو سے تھینک یو ویری مچ دور لیلیا آئزک وی آر ہیونگ پلیئر ٹو سیٹ یو ود اگین اینڈ یو گیو ایس اپرچونیٹی اینڈ لاٹ آف پیپل ود آور لاسٹ سیشن they are very very happy i had uh, a very very good <laughs> positive feedback from all of them uh, i don't know about uh, you <laughs> what you think about all these people you think the, in the same way yeah. or uh, you had a lot of work or no i can't say anything about that but thank you very much <laughs> indeed yeah thank you too of course i'm very happy to be here and i'm happy to provide the the, you know, the um, correct information about most uh, of the processes in Portugal to help uh, all the people to have a knowledge how to proceed correctly with uh, each of the steps uh, when the people are coming to Portugal. All right. So today I made uh, a couple of questions uh, myself. I want to ask you if someone, uh, any newcomer, comes to Portugal, okay. so what he or she should do, what should be the first step? if somebody is coming for uh, immigration purpose? Okay, so we will start from the beginning. Uh, we will imagine like the person is coming from Pakistan to Portugal and uh, the person already got the visa, any kind of, uh, any, any country Schengen visa, and he bought the tickets and he is waiting for the date to come to Portugal. He uh, needs to know a few simple things uh, what uh, he have to uh, to make. So first of all, when the person already arrived in Portugal, he need to understand very important uh, thing that if he, if uh, the flight of the person is not direct one, is uh, with uh, some middle steps like the person is traveling not with a direct flight, it means that the person will not have a stamp of Lisbon in his passport. This stamp is very important because this stamp is a declaration of legal entry in Portugal. So, in case that the person doesn't have this stamp, the person, in according to the law, will have three working days to the declare his entrance stamp. in Portugal. <coughs> to proceed with this document, the person need to call to the official uh, to the official SEF number to make an appointment in SEF and uh, to go there, represent his passport and his boarding pass and um, the SEF will give him a declaration of legal entry in Portugal. If the person will proceed it during three working days, the person will not need to pay any additional fee. Right. But if the person is going to make it after three working days, he is going to pay a, a penalty which is going to be 30 euros. Okay. And as much time as the person will not do that, the penalty is going to be higher, higher and higher. The highest penalty is 150 euros, which is up to three months after uh, he will come in Portugal. And after this time, it's not possible anymore to get this document, this declaration. Also, there are some cases when the, per the, the, the people are coming with a direct flight and uh, the stamp in the passport is not very good, so it's not possible to see exactly uh, this stamp. So it's very bad quality stamp. In this case, the person should go to the airport of Lisbon with his passport and his um, ticket, a uh, flight ticket, and ask uh, the uh, immigration border services inside the airport of Lisbon to give him a declaration of legal entry and they will give them the declaration inside the airport. It will take around three hours to get that document. 
So this is uh, regarding the ah one more one more option is uh, I know a lot of cases uh, that uh, some people are renting some rooms and apartments and are staying in the hotels or hostels uh, to get also a declaration of legal entry. Yes, it is true. This is also one of the options how it's possible to proceed because in according to the Portuguese law, all the owners of the hotels, hostels and all other such uh, type of properties, they are obliged to send the information regarding each client to the immigration border services. And this is also a declaration of legal entry. This document is very important one because regarding this document, if the person will not have it, it will not be possible to proceed with a normal uh, application for the residence permit in Portugal. For the people who will not have that document, it's going to be another type of procedure. So that's why please uh, be very attentively uh, regarding this issue and understand the way how you're going to proceed to get this document in the beginning of your trip. So, the next step is when the person is already here, he already get the declaration of legal entry and the next step is to get uh, the NIF number. NIF number is a Portuguese tax, uh, a tax uh, number. So, to get uh, the NIF number, the person must have the passport uh, must have the proof of the residence from the country of the origin or any other country where the person currently lived from last time. For example, uh, the person has a Pakistan, uh, Pakistani passport, but he lived in Germany. So he have a right to represent the proof of the address or from Pakistan or from Germany. There is no problem. Uh, when I'm saying proof of the address, it can be any document from electricity bill, internet bill, um, I don't know, it can be a bank, uh, any bank statement, any document where it will be written the name of the person and the full address with a postal code. In this case, this document can be valid. This document doesn't have to be an original, it can be a digitalized document, it can, can be printed out here in Portugal. So, yes, yeah, so these two things, the passport, the proof of the address, and uh, the person should bring with him the uh, fiscal uh, representative, uh, the person who will have uh, the Portuguese nationality, who have a right to sign uh, in their name to represent himself here in Portugal. So, in this case, uh, you need to go to any tax office in Portugal and ask to open the, uh, the NIF number and you will be proceeded with the opening. So, since, uh, uh, I guess, uh, June uh, 2019, the law changed and officially you have to pay a government fee for the NIF number, which is 10 euros and 70 cents. But unfortunately, as we are in Portugal and here, the law is, um, well, this law was already applied, but not for all tax offices. So that is why in some tax offices, they are still for free, so you don't have to pay any government fee. But in some of them in the city center of Lisbon, uh, you have to proceed with the official payment of the government fee, which is 10 euros and 70 cents. The number uh, which you are going to have, it's uh, lasting for during all your life. It doesn't have any validity. And uh, uh, now I will explain you a very important thing. So when you will receive your NIF number, it's going to be a paper A4. On the top, there will be your NIF number and your full name. Under that, you will have your, your address from Pakistan or any other country where you lived. So, when you have the foreign address in your NIF number, it means that you are not resident in Portugal. It means that if, when you start working here, you are going to pay not uh, you're going to pay more taxes because you're not resident you're going to pay 25 percent of everything that you are going to earn here in according to the law you have 183 working days 
starting from the date when you enter Portugal and after 183 days you have a possibility to exchange the address from foreign one to Portuguese one and since that moment you will pay taxes normally as all Portuguese people are doing. So please be very attentive concerning these things because if you are not going to be, you are going to pay very high taxes, okay? Um, what else? I think concerning the NIF number, it's more or less it is. Yeah, yeah. Ah, also, it's possible to make a, a NIF number without physical presence of the person, okay? It's also, it is possible. For example, if the person is uh, not in Portugal, but for some reason he, he needs an IF number, he can hire a lawyer and uh, he can send a passport copy. We will prepare the power of attorney. We will send it, the person will sign it and send us back to us. And we can proceed with uh, making the NIF number without physical presence of the person. The procedure is very simple. The timing is two working days to get the number, and the number will be exactly the same as the person can do it alone in Portugal, okay? Yeah, so now I guess that's it. All right, thank you very much for this uh, very much uh, detailed uh, answer. So, you are talking about uh, the first fish card number. Yes. And uh, the second I have written here, uh, what is the finance or what is fiscal number actually? Yeah, so this is the Portuguese tax number. So it, it means that you are registered in the Portuguese tax system. So you, are, uh, you will be required to start paying taxes in Portugal as a non-resident person. So this is what it is. All right. Uh, what documents we need uh, to make this fiscal number? So, as I already told you, we need a passport, we need uh, the proof of the address from the current uh, uh, place, uh, last place of living of the person, and uh, we need uh, the representative with a Portuguese nationality who is going to sign the documents for you to get uh, the NIF number. All right. And uh, what is Sugranza social number? Social, uh, yeah, Sorry, social yes, security please. number. It's... Uh, it's uh, the system of the taxes in Portugal where uh, you have to pay these taxes only if you are going to start working. Yes. Why? Because uh, you are paying these taxes and when uh, you will be retired, these taxes are going to be returned to you as a function uh, when you start to be retired. So everyone in Portugal start paying these taxes from the first uh, uh, salary and from the first uh, job that they have until the end of their working career. So the social security taxes uh, are different for the uh, in dependent workers and independent workers. So if you are an independent worker and you are working with uh, green receives, it means recibus verdes in Portuguese, you have to pay 13% of each receipt which is one three, 13 percent. Uh, so it means when you are making an invoice, which is a green receipt, uh, to receive your payment on your work, uh, three in three months is you have to go to the social security uh, online and register all your earnings that you proceed for la during last three months. And you have to declare that value and they will generate a payment invoice for the social security, which you have to proceed with. So in this system, you have to pay th this tax three in three months. And if you, you are a dependent worker and you are working in some company as a normal worker, the social security is taken out from your salary. So you are not going to be worried about that because uh, you're the owner of the company where you're working. He's supposed to take care about that for you. And you can check it out in your salary slips each month because it's written down there. Also, you can go online and check all the payment that were done in your name out of your company. Okay.
And uh, what we need uh, to make this social security number? So to ask for the social security number, we have to have a passport, uh, the proof of the entrance, the legal entry in Portugal. It can be a, a visa, a stamp in the passport, <coughs> the stamp in the passport. It can be uh, the uh, ticket from the airplane or bus ticket. It should be the proof of the address from Portugal. It can be the rental contract on your name, or it can be the junta document. And uh, also, it uh, should be a proof of uh, your work. So, it can be the working contract, or it should be uh, an individual worker, which is self-employed. So, these are the documents, which is a must to represent them in Social Security to ask for the number. Uh, if some of these documents are missing, it's not possible to proceed with an application. Sometimes happens that uh, the workers of the Social Security are not very attentively checking out your documents and you can uh, apply for the number but you will never um, receive it if you are not uh, following the procedure correctly. Okay, so please check or double check all the documents from this list that uh, I told you about. It's very important to have all of these documents with you. And in this case, if you are presenting the working contract, be sure that your working contract is registered in ACT. ACT is an organization that takes care about the foreigner workers. If any company in Portugal is hiring the foreigner, they must register with the contract in this organization. What is Junta? <laughs> Our people say Janta. <laughs> so Junta or Janta, uh, so there is a municipality in, uh, in, in, in Lisbon and in Portugal there is a lot of municipalities area by area. And uh, in this municipality, for example, you are living in the center of Lisbon and you know that the name of your area is Santo Antonio. So you have to pa find the municipality of Santo Antonio, go there and ask for the Junta paper. Junta document proves that this is the official document from municipality in your name that is going to be proved that you are living in this municipality in current address like this the same as you have on your uh, rental contract and uh, or the same uh, as you have on your buying document of the property so this is basically uh, the proof of your residence current residence in portugal a lot of people are getting this document more easily than the rental contract why because uh, um, Sometimes in some of the municipality, it's not important to present the rental contract. Sometimes they are asking to take uh, two, uh, two neighbors uh, on the place where you are living to confirm that you are really living in that address. So this is also one of the options how you can get that document. Normally it takes up to three working days to proceed to receive that document and uh, you have to pay a government fee which is uh, different in each municipality but normally it's like from two euros up to ten depending on the municipality all right so fiscal number what is the government fees of uh, fiscal number in according to the law it's ten euros and seventy cents but as i told you not in each uh, uh, tax office they are going to ask for for to pay that because um, it, it's, it's very difficult to explain it, but uh, the law really was assigned and applied, but all tax offices are working a bit differently. So in the center of Lisbon, they are asking to pay that, but uh, in, uh, in other municipalities, they are not asking for that yet. So maybe next year, they will be updated for the information that are going on in Portugal, and they will all start <laughs> asking for that amount. And uh, Segurança Social? No, it's a uh, social security doesn't have uh, any government fees. Government fees now? No. All right. No. And uh, Junta de Freguesia? Yeah, it is uh, different from, from municipality to municipality, but it's from 2 euros to up to 10 euros, so. depending to the municipalities.
All right. So Sugranza Social, there is no government fees. No. Finances is like also yes. under 10 euros. Yes. And the uh, Junta di Ferexia, it's all, almost like uh, yes. maybe 5 or 10 euros. Yes. No more than that. Yeah. Uh, the English, I don't know, mashallah, there are a lot of people in our group. So, to make Junta or Fiscal, 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 or Fiscal
you you don't have to present all three on the moment of the locking your documents in Ceph. And if you don't have the legal entry, you must present 12 months taxes. It's very important. And all 12 months taxes or more, you must present on the day on the interview in SEP. If you will not have that minimum 12, it's no sense to go there because your application is going to be rejected. 100% sure. All right. So we have a answer of these two questions. Uh, I want to ask you a very, very important question because uh, <coughs> I know personally, uh, for the moment, uh, I know like maybe three or four people mm -hmm. uh, who are with uh, diabetes. Okay. Uh, they cannot buy any insulin. Mm -hmm. any medicine from uh, pharmacy okay uh, just because uh, they don't have uh, the doctor prescription okay and uh, he of course uh, they cannot get this uh, prescription because uh, they don't have uh, any carton de tent okay uh, carton de tent is uh, please explain what yes, is carton so de tent carton de uh, tent is a, a subscription uh, for the medical uh, insurance government system in Portugal. So it's basically the medical number in Portugal. Uh, to get that medical number in Portugal, uh, there is, uh, no, first of all, there is two uh, medical numbers. There is a temporary one and uh, the permanent one. Uh, if you are an immigrant in Portugal and you don't have the residence permit in Portugal, you have a right to get the temporary medical number in Portugal. What does it mean? That number uh, doesn't have uh, any validity, okay? So it, it will not be expired. Uh, uh, but, and you can use it uh, to use uh, all the medical services, hospital services, all kind of medicine in Portugal, you can use it uh, using this number. To get this number, you need to provide the passport, uh, the proof of the address, which is a document from the municipality or it can be any uh, rental uh, contract, and uh, your NIF number and your social security number. Uh, using these documents, you can go to any uh, medical center in your municipality, uh, which is uh, Centro de Saúde Medical Center, and ask to subscribe in the Portuguese medical system to get the temporary medical number. And uh, in according to the law, they must give it to you. Now we are, we'll talk about the permanent medical number. The permanent medical number can get only people who have the resident permit in Portugal. If the, per the person doesn't have it, it's not possible to get that type of document. It's impossible. So, for example, if uh, you are now in Portugal and you don't have uh, the resident permit, you will get as a temporary medical number. And when you will get the resident permit, you can come back to your medical center and they will uh, exchange it uh, for the permanent one. So the number will be still the same, but it just uh, goes from temporary uh, to permanent. Uh, you doesn't have any benefits between them. They are totally the same. But for some reason, in according to the law, people who don't have the resident permit in Portugal, they just can't have uh, the permanent medical number. It's not possible. But the, all the benefits are the same. All right. And uh, if someone is, uh, they don't have any carton de tent, mm -hmm. they don't have any residence card, and if with any emergency of health issues, mm -hmm. uh, they can go to the hospital? Yes, they can. They have a right to go. If they have an emer any emergency case, they don't have any kind of documents, they, they will go to the hospital and uh, the, the doctors will help them. But after they, everything will be fine with the person, uh, they will uh, ask to proceed with the payment of the bill concerning all the services that were provided. You have to be aware about that. Uh, another very, very important question. Uh, Sometimes people come 
uh, a couple mm -hmm. they come to Portugal and uh, they are uh, expecting a baby yes uh, but because uh, they are illegal here they don't have any residence card and uh, carton de mm -hmm. so what will be the procedure uh, for that uh, if uh, a lady is uh, expecting a baby mm -hmm. so how she could go to the hospital mm -hmm. and uh, what will be the procedure uh, so the first what she the lady uh, must do she must go uh, to the uh, well she must make the legal entry she must have uh, the NIF number and the uh, proof of the address in Portugal uh, excuse me yes suppose if uh, they are not uh, with a valid visa yeah but still she must she must uh, make uh, the proof of the address in Portugal right. and she must make uh, the NIF number and after she must go to the uh, health center uh, to make uh, the temporary medical number. Right. After using the medical, uh, the temporary medical number, she will have uh, an access to the family doctor, and she can make it uh, um, make a consultancy with uh, the medical, uh, the family medical doctor, who will um, uh, accompany all the process of her pregnancy. It's not going to be for free because medicine in, in Portugal is not free. So she still must pay each consultancy. It's going to be the price is around three euros until seven euros, but still, it must be paid. But it's not that much actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like the normal people, I think uh, they are paying sixty-five or more uh, uh, when they don't have even a carton de tent if they go to emergency to the hospital. Yes. All right, and. Uh, <coughs> Will this baby mm -hmm. would be helpful uh, to get uh, the residence card or no? No, the only uh, person who can uh, no. First of all, uh, so the baby have a right to get uh, the resident permit in Portugal if one of the parents are legally living in Portugal during two years or more. Okay. In this case, baby have a right to get the the residence permit. So one of the parents should be legal in the country. Uh, yes. If yes. the both are illegal. Yes. If the both are illegal, no. Oh, okay. A couple with the baby in the 12 years. Uh, and what about uh, the baby? Uh, if some someone has it, like uh, one of my friend I know, he has yes. uh, a child of uh, nearly 12 years old. Yes. Uh, the both are illegal, mm -hmm. and uh, the baby wants to. Uh, her boy, uh, his boy actually, mm -hmm. his boy wants to go to the school. Okay, so if the boy is going to be subscribed in the normal, uh, in any kind of schools in Portugal, he have a right to get a residence title in Portugal. Regarding the uh, article concerning the uh, people who are uh, studying in the undi undergraduate, so uh, he will need to represent all the documents regarding the school, proving that he is uh, the student in the school, he must have uh, the health insurance, the proof of the address, documents of some of the parents uh, that they have enough money to sustain uh, his life in Portugal. And in this case, he's going to get the residence title in one year, for duration for one year, and he's going to um, prolongate it each year until he will finish the school. And if after the school he's going to continue his studies in the university, he also can exchange uh, after change the article from undergraduate to graduate and he can continue with uh, his residence title per one year until he will take five full years and after that he can ask for the nationality and uh, if, if a husband and wife are coming uh, suppose with three or four children mm -hmm. and all these children are they're able uh, to go to the school without yes. any residence card Yes, they, they are. could go for the basic education yes and yes. Uh, it will be for free or uh, they have to pay if it is the government school it's going to be for free the education even it's four free. kids five kids doesn't yes, matter uh, 20 kids it's going to be for free <laughs> but uh, it's a good news <laughs> for our people actually. yes but you have to be aware that you have to pay for the books oh, okay you have to pay for the um, for the health insurance and you have to pay the the food because it's uh, so the education basically is for free yes but the fee for the books the fee for uh, something else in the school is separately so you still have to pay 
All right. And what about uh, because of uh, their kids are going to the school mm-hmm. and uh, the parents could get any kind yes. of a benefit uh, yes. to get uh, to help uh, to getting their residence card? Yes, they can. They can get their residence permit after the child will get his. They can get uh, the residence permit of the Article 129, which is the article uh, for um, uh, sustaining uh, the child because uh, the child is there and the child is leaving for the uh we together with them in, in, and they are taking care of for them of course all right uh what about uh, the family rules uh, about uh, if any european citizen mm-hmm. uh suppose uh, my brother mm-hmm. he lives in uk and if he comes here he have a uk passport uk passport he's okay. a british citizen okay. and if he comes here okay. what could be the benefits uh, for the family members like my parents okay. my brother so if uh, if there re- uh, if there is a uh, uk resident okay he has a, a nationality of great britain he is going to come to portugal he needs to go to the camara municipal in the area of his living and he needs to ask for the uh, registration certificate for five years in Portugal. Uh, the fee, uh, the government fee is 15 euros to proceed with the payment. And after he will get uh, the, uh, the, this certificate, which is the same as residence title for five years in Portugal. So this is an official document. It's very easy to get it and very fast. And after that, all the members of the family of this person can make a family reunion with him and can get the residence title for five years in accordance to the article of the family reunion, which can be uh, the, um, the wife, all the children, and the parents if they are already retired and if uh, um, uh, the, the person is sustaining uh, the parents. In this case, they also can apply to the family reunion. And uh, suppose uh, if I'm not working, uh, I am over 18, over 21 actually. So could I also get any kind of benefit from my brother or no? No. 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 Even I am, I'm not working, I'm very poor, have no money. If, if, uh, if you're going to be a young person, like uh, until 25 years old and you're going to study here, in this case, yes, but if you are over 25 and okay. you are not studying... So the no. age limit is 25? Huh? Age limit is 25? Yes. Okay. So he must be until 25 and he, uh, the person must be a student, the current student. All right. Uh, do you know what is uh, the, uh, my friend... Uh, uh, I cannot... I can't ask all of the questions. I can't ask all of the questions because I have so many questions here. ये सब मैंने पूछने हैं और स्पेशली उन लोगों से जिनसे मैंने ऑलरेडी यहाँ पे ग्रुप में रिक्वेस्ट की थी तो कोशिश करूँगा आपके सवाल जो लाइव पूछ रहे हैं उनसे भी लूँ लाइव कॉल्स में ज़रूर कोशिश करूँगा मैक्सिमम लेने की आ, लेकिन ये सैयद उस्मान साहब ने क्योंकि मेरी कन्वर्सेशन से ये रिलेटेड था वट इज़ द सेकेंड लैंग्वेज इन पोर्टुगीज स्कूल्स the second language, uh, it depends on the schools, but normally it's English. English. Yes. So first language is Portuguese and yes. the second is uh, yes. English. But it depends on schools. In some schools it's Spanish. All right. So now we are going to ask all of our friends who have asked questions. I have asked a lot of questions, and I think that a lot of people have made a connection from any kind of people. I have tried to do my own. शायद आप बोर भी हो रहे हो मुझे नहीं पता लेकिन मैंने अपनी तरफ से पूरी कोशिश की है कि एज मच एज इन्फॉर्मेशन पॉसिबल आप सब के लिए जिससे आप सबको कोई फ़ायदा हो सके तो अब मैं आता हूँ आपके सवाल की तरफ हमारे दोस्त हैं जनाब राशिद इकबाल चौधरी साहब इन्होंने पूछा जी भाई सलाम बहुत शुक्रिया मेरे सबूरों नंबर पर पासपोर्ट नंबर गलत है ये कैसे ठीक होगा क्या तरीक़ाकार है शुक्रिया मिस्टर राशिद ही इज़ आस्किंग Unfortunately, uh, his Sugranta uh, social number, par mm-hmm. uh, uh, passport number. Uh, on his Sugranta social number, the passport uh, number is wrong. Okay. So, what is the process uh, to fix this mistake? Okay. So he have to go to the social security office. Anyone, uh, he have to take a copy of his passport and ask for the special uh, um, form 
to fill out in the social security office so he need to ask the the form to proceed with a correction of the mistake in his passport and uh, he can ask the lady in the social security office to help to fill out this form there he needs to put the correct number of the passport and the wrong one the sign the document put together the copy of the passport and uh, uh, leave these documents in the social security office in uh, according to the law normally it takes up to seven working days to correct this mistake and uh, how much does it cost uh, it's for free it's for free जी राशि साहब बिल्कुल फ्री है जनाब लेकिन जब ये ठीक हो जाए जनाब हमें आपने पार्टी ज़रूर देनी है क्योंकि काफ़ी पुराना इशू चल रहा है आपका उसके बाद मिशाल में दी जजाकला ब्रदर फॉर योर कोऑपरेटिव बिहेवियर फॉर पाकिस्तानीज एंड यू एज वेल एक्चुअली यू आर द वन आई थिंक यू आर सो कोऑपरेटिव टू गेट ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन अदनान यासिर साहब पूछ रहे हैं सपोज Suppose, suppose I, yeah, suppose लिखा मेरा ख्याल आपने मेरे फिंगर है नेक्स्ट मंथ और मैं जॉब चेंज करनी है न्यू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लेकर फिंगर हो जाएंगे मिस्टर अदनान या सिर ही जस्ट चेंज हिज एम्प्लॉयमेंट हीज डूइंग वेन ही एंटर हिज पेपर इट वॉज एन अदर एम्प्लॉय नाउ हीज चेंज सो इज आस्किंग डू यू थिंक they will take my fingers the biometric and my residency will be done or so uh, uh, in this case uh, you just i will explain very important things so there is two articles i i think that all of the people know about that there is an article 88 and article 89 so if you made your application with article 88 it was done locked okay and you also already have your appointment in self for your fingers with article 88 okay and suddenly you left your job and for some reason you find the new one and uh, the new job is uh, an independent worker okay so this is another article 89 in this case you will have a problems okay so on the date of your interview when you come there and represent the new documents they are going to switch your article to the another article and they are going to make for you another appointment so they are not going to make your fingerprints on that date okay but if you are staying inside the same article there is no problem you can change any jobs you prefer and as much as you want when you are inside the same article there is no problem and no worries about that just be aware not to change from one article to another one this is the main thing but it's not our basic right we can change employment any any time uh, yes yes of course so but this will uh, affect our uh, no if you are staying inside the same article it will not affect ah, okay saad rahman sahab pooch rahe hain ji agar legal entry junta seguro ki slip police corrector visa passport ki copy sab maujood hai aur kisi se ek hafte ke liye contract lekar bagair tax ke self file lock ki jaye to टाइम चलना स्टार्ट होगा ईमेल आएगी क्योंकि एक हफ्ते बाद वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कैंसिल हो जाएगा सिर्फ सेफ फाइल लॉक करने के लिए वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मिलेगा भाई ये कैसा कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है आ, अब मैं तो सोच में पड़ गया हूँ कि आपका सवाल ये जो है ये बिल्कुल मेरे हिसाब से तो इलीगल है लेकिन चले मैं ट्राई करता हूँ पूछने की सद रहमान इज आस्किंग इज इट पॉसिबल इफ समन हैज अंट्रैक्ट वर्किंग कॉन्ट्रैक्ट जस्ट फॉर वन वीक okay and with this one week contract yes. he upload all the documents uh, to lock the file okay so that's why i was a uh... no it's not possible no. <laughs> no it's not possible the minimum duration of the contract must be 6 months ah, okay. it's a minimum and in the contract it must be written that it's automatically renovated all right Uh, the next question is from Mr. Nan Shahid. Social Security number not being made. Fingers' date is coming, but the score number is not being made. Mr. Nan Shahid is saying uh, Social Security number. He has uh, some difficulties uh, to get uh, the Sugranta Social number. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has uh, he uh, his date uh, for the biometrics. Uh, i think is a very near okay so he's just worried that okay so do, uh, if the if this person will not get the social security number until the the appointment in self he can still go to the appointment and represent all the document that he have uh except uh, the social security number but uh 
if he must represent the sleep of the application for the social security number. It's not his fault that the social security number uh, doesn't came up, okay? So in this case, if all the rest of the documents are going to be fine, the officer of the social security, uh, of the CEF border office is going to take all other documents and uh, he will present uh, the official declaration from CEF that your application was complete, he will took the biometric dates, but he will not receive the residence title until he will not receive the social security number. So it will be written in that document. So when, as soon as he will get the social security number, he must go back to the same delegation of CEF to give a copy for them. And then they will proceed of the making the residence title in Portugal. Ji, Adnan Shahid Sahib, for you, it's my opinion good news here that if you don't have a social security number and you don't have a date of fingers, then it's not your fault. You should take all your points and points to your point. And inshallah, Allah will be able to give you your support. So the next question is from Mr. Vaseem Chaudhary. Assalamualaikum, my question is that I was in Europe for visit visa. 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 پرتگال انٹر نہیں ہوا اب اگر پرتگال ہوں تو یورو والی لیگل انٹری چل جائے گی وہاں کون سا آرٹیکل اپلائی ہوگا مسٹر وسیم چودری ہیز ویزا ہیز ایکسپائیڈ ناو اینڈ ڈیورنگ ہیز ویلیڈیٹی آف ہیز ویزا ہی ڈیڈ نوٹ انٹر ان دی پرتگال سو ناو ہیز آسکنگ وٹ شوڈ آئی ڈو اینڈ وٹ ویل بی دا آرٹیکل ٹو سٹارٹ ہیز ریزیڈنس کچھ इंशाल्लाह बन जाएगा। So the next is family जो के पाकिस्तान में हैं उनकी nationality यहाँ पर तो गाल में जमा करवा सकते हैं। I don't know if they okay. So another question is if someone having the Portuguese nationality and after this nationality is possible that they could do their family member nationality as well. from uh, their home country, the, the family who is living in uh, another country? Yes, it's possible. It's possible to make it for the children yeah. and uh, for the wife or husband. Yes, it's possible. All right. Umar Baloj, by mail, how much time will start? How long does it take to How long it takes to get uh, the email from the staff? Mr. Umar Baloj is asking. Uh, normally, in, in according to what is written on the official uh, source of the Immigration Border Services, it's until 90 working days, okay? So if you don't receive your email from na uh, until 90 working days, there is two options. Or uh, your application was made not correctly, it means that you made some mistakes, or uh, you have to wait a little bit more. But if you are 100% sure that your application was made correctly, you can write uh, an email to SEF uh, asking, uh, you can uh, put there uh, your number of your manifestation of the interest and uh, you can ask them, consult your information regarding your case, so why are you still not receiving the email, or is there any other uh, problems or mistakes or something missing. So you can always write the emails. The emails, it's a um, more correct way to communicate with SEF, because uh, if you think that uh, you will call to SEF and you will notice some information, it's not true. It's better to write an email and always in the email put the number of your manifestation of the interest, because they can understand who you are only by this number. All right. Umair Baloj sahab, sahab ko email likhe aur Allah baak aap ke liye asaniyah paida kare. Bilal Baloj salam bhai, mujhe yeh poochna tha ke jab hum Portugal mein legal enter hote hain to documents ka apply karte hain. Sahab mein contract job lagane ke baad ya direct jate hi documents apply karte hain. Mr. Bilal Baloj is asking when we go to Portugal, 
So when we upload the documents, uh, it's after getting a job or we can do also before job? You can do it before job, but uh, before job you need to represent the promise of working contract. So if you are not yet having a job, but uh, your future, uh, the company where you will work in the future, they will give you the promise of the working contract with this document, you can upload your and lock your file in SEP. Yes. G. Bilal Bilal Sahib, if you have a working contract ka promise, then you will be able to do it. So, it is not necessary that you have a job in the job. You will be able to do it. Rehan Kasim, social security number 3 months, you will be able to do it. Mr. Rehan Kasim is asking, uh, uh, it's been uh, more than 3 months, mm -hmm. he couldn't get his Sugrangsa social number. So, what mm -hmm. he should do? So the first what he should do, he should call to the number which is uh, 300 uh, 502 502, which is an official number of social security. He must call to this number, tell his full name and his uh, Portuguese tax number to, and try to consult the, informa the information regarding his situation. Maybe it can happen because some of the documents were missing because if uh, uh, if uh, normally uh, the people are getting social security numbers fast only when it's complete correctly if it was done some mistake or the documents is not correct it takes more time but you always have a right to cancel your application and make the new one it's very important to know it also because you can't just proceed with the new application if you have a pending the first one you have to cancel the first one and only after proceed with a new one. All right. Mr. Rihan Kasim Saab, 300-502-502 pe call kare or information le jinaab aapke so grand social mein kya problem a rahi hai. Okay. The next question is, agar banda non-European ladki se shadi kare to us ladki ke document press process Process kya hoga? Non European ladki se shadi ka Portugal government kya fayda deti hai? Uh, Imran Khan sahab, agar aap yahan pe swal mein ye likhte te ki aap ka apna status kya hai? Aap khud European ho chuke hai, aap ke paas resident card kya hai? Uh, resident card koon sa hai? To shayad thodi asani rehti jawab dene mein. Uh, Mr. Imran Khan, uh, he's asking uh, uh, if someone gets married uh, with a non European girl, so, what will be the benefit? But I couldn't understand this question. Non European. Uh, or, or European. Non European. It's out of the European yeah, Union. Yeah. No, there is no benefit, no. No, because uh, I don't know that he, he's European or okay. he's with a residence card. So, okay, but, but if you could yeah, briefly okay. a bit so about So, normally, this if the person out of the European Union uh, is married with someone non European, there is no benefit for no one. Okay? But if the person is married from another person from the European Union, not from Portugal, from another country from European Union, yes, there is a benefit because uh, the person, the, the, they will marry after, if they are going to live in Portugal, the person who has a re European Union has to uh, take uh, the residence certificate for five years in Portugal and after uh, another person uh, will proceed with a family reunion and get the residence title for five years in Portugal, which is quite easy and quite fast process. So the next question is from uh, Raja Barkat sahab. Two person came from UK and does not have legal entry. Mm -hmm. If they start their own business, how many taxes uh, are required? And if they work in any company, then how many taxes they have to pay? Twelve taxes in both cases. In both cases, Raja Barkas have uh, 12, case, uh, 12 uh, taxes. So the next question is uh, Ahmed Raja Saab. Uh, I think it's quite easy if you could uh, read as well, because uh, the question is in English. Uh, can't I open my own company without Portuguese guarantor if I haven't got TR card. This is a new thing I came to know from finance office last week. No, no, if so, why finance office refused to add the activity on my finance? 
Okay, uh, first of all, it's not a company, okay? So the person is thinking that uh, the activity in finance is a company. It's not a company. So the company is a LDA, okay? This is a company. Uh, the activity in finance, this is uh, the self-employed document. This is uh, when people are starting to work for themselves, but they don't have a right to hire someone. So this is not a company. But yes, it's correct. So to open the activity in the finance, the person needs to present the Portuguese uh, garantador. Yes, it's correct. Yes, it's uh, because. Uh, so to open the activity, the person needs to present the passport, the NIF number, the uh, bank account in Portugal, and uh, the representative with the Portuguese nationality uh, to, be rep uh, to be responsible for the VAT taxes in Portugal. It's very important. So without all these things, it's not possible to open an activity in the finance. Okay. And uh, the secondly, he's asking, my friend has a limited uh, yes. liability company, staffing for agriculture, yes. cleaning and maintenance uh -huh. worker, and want to employ staff from Pakistan and India. Can yes. he do hiring from uh, there by issuing employment to them, to their uh, any other procedure to follow? Uh, he wants to hire people who are... From another country, are, are non-EU. Who are in other country right yes, now? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's possible. It's possible. So to do that, uh, uh, they need. Uh, so the owner of the company needs to go to the organization which is called EFP in Portugal, and he needs to represent uh, and declare that uh, he has uh, an available place in his company. For example, as uh, agriculture. Okay. And uh, uh, when he applied to, to this institution. Uh, they, they need uh, to wait 30 working days to, uh, and they will, what, what uh, they will do? They will uh, look in Portugal between Portuguese people uh, who are suiting this position. And each time when they will find the person, they will send uh, the CV of this person to the owner of the company so that then he can check and uh, make a decision or he wants to put this person or not. If during 30 working days, the owner of the company will not find any suitable person between Portuguese people who he want to hire for this position, in that case, the institution EFP will provide a declaration uh, that uh, have a power for him to hire the person who is in Pakistan, uh, India, Bangladesh, or any other countries that he wants, okay? But he needs to follow this procedure. There is no other way to go around. It's only this procedure. So the next question, uh, Sayyid Mohsen Shah. Illegal ke kitne taxes? Illegal ke jinaab bara taxes hain. Aur aage Dilawar Raza sahab kare, amazing, keep it up brother, may Allah live long with blessings to you and your family, I mean. Bohut bohut shukriya Mr. Dilawar Raza sahab, aapka bohut bohut shukriya janaab, aapki nate mene suni hai, mashallah, Allah aapko janaab jazaa de, aur isi tarah hume nate sunaya kare, inshallah bohut jald aapka didar bhi hooga, aur aapse live hum nate sunenge, bohut zabardas awaz hai, Allah ta'ala ne aapko بہت بہت اچھی آواز دی ہے اللہ پاک اسے قائم دام رکھے آپ بھی خوش رہیں جناب حسنین صاحب کہہ رہے ہیں جی بھائی اگر ویزا ایکسپائر ہو گیا ہو پرتگال انٹر کرنے سے پہلے بٹ لیگل انٹری کروائی ہو دن کتنے ٹیکسز لگیں گے پرتگال انٹر کرنے سے پہلے ویزا ایکسپائر بٹ لیگل انٹری کروائی ہو I am unable to understand this question Mr. Hasnan is asking if the visa is expired ok before entering uh, in Portugal, okay. but legal entry is already done. <laughs> okay, then it means that the person came to Portugal, get the legal entry, legal entry and go out of go Portugal. Out, okay. So, how many taxes? Uh, uh, no. If the, you, no. Theoretically, if the person have a legal entry, he must present three taxes, That's okay? Saying, yeah. But uh, the question is how he is going to back to Portugal yeah. if his visa is expired. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, if he comes back, of yeah. course, he needs another legal entry. Yes. yes. That's correct? It's correct. Ah, okay. It's very confusing. Uh, uh, 
Next. Just give me a second. Yes, please have a water. <laughs> <laughs> जीनिश जी शान आपने कहा है कि जी सभी सवालों के जवाब लें बिल्कुल जनाब सभी सवालों के जवाब ले रहे हैं आपके सामने मेहनत कर रहे हैं बस आपकी दुआएं चाहिए बहुत शुक्रिया द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम जवाब मुस्तफा बाई सेफ में फिनंस नंबर जनता एंड सोशल सिक्योरिटी नंबर लनाए के लिए विटनेस बनाने के लिए किस को बनाए लॉयर को या कोई भी पाकिस्तानी जिसके पास कोर्ट की दिया और कौन सा सिटी है पोर्टुगल जिसका सेफ डिपार्टमेंट में रश कम है ओके मिस्टर जवाब मुस्तफा इज आस्किंग टू मेक इज फिशकाल नंबर जुनता एंड सुग्रंस सुसियाल वट इज बैटर टू मेक द विटनेस और लाइक द अटॉर्निंग हु इज बैटर विद द लॉयर और एनी पाकिस्तानी कुड डू इट हु हैज द परमानेंट रेजिडेंस कार्ड Now, uh, we, who could be the representative? Which yes, the, any Portuguese person or yes. the person who is a permanent resident card in Portugal. Yes, that's okay. correct. Yes. No, but he's asking what is better uh, with uh, any. No, I think it's uh, always better to to hire a lawyer because lawyer. he has a uh, more um, uh, information regarding all the procedures than the normal person. जी जवाब मुस्तफ़ा साहब ये नंबर बनाने के लिए वो कह रही हैं कि आप अगर लायर की खिदमत हासिल करेंगे तो वही बेहतर है बजाय इसके कि कोई नॉर्मल लोग हों जो पाकिस्तानी हैं या जिसकी भी आप बात कर रहे हैं एंड वट सिटी इज़ गुड वे आर इट्स नॉट टू बिजी द सेफ टू मेक ऑल दीज थिंग He's he's talking about to, to get the fiscal number, to get the jun jun. Uh, uh, any test, of them? Test it's, test it's, it's the same. Is there yeah. any of them? Okay. Rana Osama Sir Sir Sir, what are you saying? Brother, mail ka time kab reduce hoga? Okay. Mr. Rana Osama Sir, he's asking. Uh, it's more than two hundred and ten days, mm -hmm. and uh, but hasn't got any email from the Sir. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, he must write an email, and uh, before uh, writing an email, he must be sure that his application was made correctly, because if it was made like with one week contract, okay, he will never <laughs> receive an email. <laughs> email okay. जी ये one week वाला contract बड़ा popular हो गया है जनाब file log करने के लिए तो सामा साहब आपका जो जवाब है मैडम कह रही हैं कि आप अगर दो सौ दस दिन से ज़्यादा हो गए तो आप सेफ को email करें तो आपको जवाब मिलेगा फिर पता चलेगा कि क्या प्रॉब्लम है और वो उम्मीद करती हैं कि आपने ये जो फाइल अपनी सारी लॉक की है तो वो करेक्टली लॉक की होगी जुनेद रहमान ही इज आस्किंग ब्रदर ईमेल नहीं आ रही 220 सो वी हैव अनदर क्वेश्चन विद 220 डेज फर्स्ट वाज 210 नाउ इट्स 220 टेन मोर डेज ओके इट्स द सेम इज द सेम या जी जुनेद साहब आपके लिए भी सेम जवाब है सर को ईमेल करें और ये याद रखें कि अगर आपकी फाइल जो है वो आपने सही तरीके से अपलोड की है जान फरीदी साहब आपका क्वेश्चन है जनाब आधा प्रिंट हुआ है आधा पता नहीं कहाँ पे गुम हो गया मुझे ये अपने मोबाइल से ढूंढना पड़ेगा लेट मी सी ओके फुल पैकेज प्रोसेस ऑफ कंपनी रजिस्ट्रेशन और ब्रांच ऑफिस ओपनिंग एंड पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ रेजिडेंस परमिट टोटल टाइम पीरियड प्लीज टू ओपन द कंपनी ओपन द कंपनी फुल पैकेज प्रोसेस ऑफ कंपनी रजिस्ट्रेशन और ब्रांच ऑफिस ओपनिंग एंड पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ रेजिडेंस परमिट Total time. Okay, to open the company, uh, you need to have your passport, a NIF number, proof of the address in Portugal, and uh, the proof of the address from your future office of your company. Uh, to register the company, you have to proceed with a payment of uh, 375 euros, which is a government fee, 
and uh, you have to schedule an appointment in advance in the conservatory uh, to open the company. Uh, also, you have to have uh, the information regarding your uh, uh, accountant and who will be an accountant, an official accountant of your company. And you have to choose an activity which uh, your company is going to proceed. You can choose up to six different activities. Uh, also, you have to know your, uh, the value of your social uh, capital of the company, which can be from one euro until whatever amount of money that you would prefer. The social capital you must uh, deposit on the bank account of your company during one year, starting from the date of the registration of your company. Uh, all total time of the registration of the company is up to four hours and you will have all the documents in your hands and everything will be registered and done. Regarding the residence title, what it's possible to make after the uh, registration of the company, it's Article 89.2, it's possible to uh, ask for the residence title for the company owners and uh, the complete process for the 89.2 article is uh, around 30 working days and uh, the list of the documents is uh, all the documents regarding the company and uh, among that it should be passport, beef number, social security number, declaration of uh, no debts in finance and declaration of no debts in social security, a bank statement, uh, the uh, proof of the address in Portugal, criminal record from the country of your origin or any other countries where you lived more than one year, and uh, that's it, and all the documents from the company, regarding the company, the company establishing documents, the declaration from an accountant, from the last transaction that was made, the balance, everything. Okay, the next question is from Mr. Ali Hassan. He's asking why email is getting too late day by day. I don't know who is uh, smiling on his comment. Uh, but anyway, Mr. Ali Hassan sahab, uh, he's, uh, he's asking why it's taking too much time uh, to getting the email. Uh, it's taking too much time because uh, there are a lot of applications and there are too little workers who are they, who are uh, taking care about these, uh, the, the applications of the people, okay? And the second one, uh, it's, uh, mm, I'm sure that not all of the people are making applications in, in the correct way, okay? And in this, uh, in this uh, situation, if the safe entry was done uh, wrong, uh, then it will took a lot of time, okay, uh, because uh, the SEF needs to analyze what exactly was made uh, wrong and they will need to write an email to the person and written everything that was done in the wrong way, asking the new documents, correcting mistakes and, and like that. So please be sure that everything is correct. All the dates, your data, your name, your birthday date, everything, everything in your application. Ali Hassan Bai. जब ज्यादा एप्लीकेशन आता है तो ज्यादा रश लगता है तो ज्यादा टाइम लगता है ये बिल्कुल वैसा ही है जब ज्यादा बारिश आता है तो ज्यादा पानी आता है ओके तनवीर बाबर ही इज आस्किंग किड एज 3 इयर्स विद टीआरसी व्हेन एलिजिबल फॉर पासपोर्ट व्हेन हिज पेरेंट्स गेट्स आफ्टर हिज और अनदर लॉज एप्लीकेबल फॉर हिम लाइक आफ्टर 2 इयर्स ऑफ लीगल स्टेट्स यस इट इज इट इज ट्रू that is true? Yes, it's correct, it's true. So the, the, there is a child of three years old and yeah. he has a, a residence title in Portugal. It's correct. Yeah. So the oh. kid will have uh, a right to, to get the passport uh, in five years as a normal person. But if his parents are going to be uh, legal in, uh, in Portugal for two years, it's going to be a different situation. But as I understand, it's not that. Okay. <coughs> but uh, he's asking here uh, when his parents get after it or another law applicable for no, him. No, the, uh, the parents uh, can have the residence title also. The passport, no. To get the passport, they need to live in Portugal five years. Okay. 
Uh, Hira Muhammad, uh, will the question answer session happen on this platform or through WhatsApp? Please let me know. Ji, you are in the Facebook pe live. Hai. All right. So the next is uh, good work. Adil Bhai, Izar Saab. Izar Saab, you are good work. You are supporting us. Janaab, we are sitting here for you. Just for your prayers, uh, Janaab. Prince Falak, first of all, thank you for your help and support and introducing this platform. Question ye hai Portugal kab tak same immigration immigration rules continue karega matlab ke new aane wale log kab tak in rules ke through fayda uthate rahenge okay uh, prince falak is asking uh, how long uh, this immigration rules gonna go uh, and which rules uh, these immigration uh, flexibility for new people because uh, portugal is a very very welcoming country if we compare uh, with any other european yes. country it's uh, not like that so he's asking, uh, uh, do you know how long it will go like this? Uh, the same rules, uh, the same law? No, for now nothing is going to change. Okay. Nothing is going to change. But, Everything but, is going to but, stay uh, like that. But I, uh, but I, uh, I think uh, nobody could say that. I mean, they could change uh, the law whenever yeah, they want. Yes, and, uh, of course they can. There is no certain time period yes, for but anything. Yes, before uh, the, they will change the law, uh, they are going to public the information regarding that issue. Right, but uh, uh, not yet. We we we, uh, we haven't heard nothing regarding that issue yet. Uh, Sana Javed is asking, uh, what is capital social in LDA company, and what is the benefit of capital social? Capital so uh, social capital can be from one euro until whatever amount of money. What is the benefit? The social capital is a public information in Portugal. It means. Uh, for example, when you go to McDonald's and you buy a Coca-Cola and you have a, a receipt from McDonald's, in this receipt it's written McDonald's, after it will, uh, it will be written the address of the McDonald's and after the social capital of McDonald's, which is one million something. So it's a public information which shows uh, the value of the company, okay? So the volume of the company, how big is it? Okay, so this is a means of, uh, of uh, the social capital. So normally if the company has, is very small, so the social capital also is going to be small, like 1,000, 2,000 euros. But if the company is as big as, as McDonald's, so the social capital is going to be up to 1 million or more. Uh, Mr. Sharik Sagir is asking, can you please tell me the list of required documents for renewal of the card? Which article? Which article, Mr. Uh, I think the normal. Uh, the if if it is if it is a normal article, uh, it's uh, the the NIF number, the passport, uh, the working contract, uh, the three last salary receives, the declaration no debts in finance and social security, the declaration of the payments uh, of taxes in social security. It's a bank statement. Uh, it's a IRS from the last year. Uh, proof of the address, uh, that's it. Criminal record is no needed. All right. Uh, the next is uh, Sayyid Mohsen Shah Sahib, uh, 12 taxes. Uh, uh, Ali Zadi is asking, uh, please, I want to know while uh, me and my wife is still waiting for our uh, TRP, what will be the status of our baby after delivery? My wife is expecting. I want to know if we have to do same procedure for him. I think we already have answered this yeah, question. Ali Zaini sahab, if you have this session, if you have seen it from the beginning, then I have already asked this question. So, uh, Mr. Mohsen Ali, he, he wants to know, someone has a legal entry mm -hmm. and a SEF entry on Polish uh, temporary residence card. Okay. Uh, he will renew his uh, card in Poland, mm -hmm. then Polish immigration will stamp on passport and uh, uh, take his first card uh, back. Mm -hmm. So, when issue the new card, when here in the self have finger and they will ask for the old card. So, the stamp on the passport, what is the prob most problem? So, he's asking, uh, uh, suppose... Uh, what is the name of the person? Uh, Mosin Ali. I think this person already was two times in my office and two times he asked me the same question and now he's asking the third time the same question. All right. And I already answered two times, and I will. But answer maybe someone, uh, someone no. else, like from Poland or from France, uh, they could get uh, the benefit of your reply, and he also will not ask so again. So now no. there is no problem about that. All the Polish cards, Italian cards, all, all other type of cards, it's um, 
uh, faz no, uh, it makes no sense in Portugal, okay? So this is uh, not Portuguese cards, okay? You can exchange them, ask another one, make a prolongation, you can do whatever you prefer out of Portugal, okay? So in Portugal, it, it makes no sense. So all these type of cards, the only thing that you should be aware of is that uh, when you have a residence title in Portugal, you can't go out of Portugal more than for six months. This is the only thing that you must be aware of. If you will be out more than for six months, you will have a problems. The only thing that matters. Oh, okay. You have a you have a right to travel. You have a right to. So you will have a stamps in your passport. There is no problem about stamps in the passport. The problem is the timing. All right. Okay. Uh, this is a very important question uh, mm -hmm. about uh, the business visa okay. or a golden visa. Okay. Uh, could you please a little bit explain because most of the people uh, uh, they ask uh, this question in our group. So the golden visa it's uh, uh, for the people who would like to make an investment in Portugal starting from uh, 350,000 euros. This is one option and another option is uh, five, uh, uh, 500,000 or more. So these are two options for the investors uh, to get the golden visa. So the process is like this. So first, the, the person should find a property which uh, he or she should buy. And uh, after, he should make the deal of uh, um, proceed with the payment and uh, make uh, a subscription in the tax office uh, regarding that the, the, the property is starting to be uh, issued in their name. After, he needs to prepare the rest of the documents <coughs> and apply for the Immigration Board the Services to ask for the residence title in according to the uh, Golden Visa process. So this, this is what it is. Uh, it normally takes up to 60 working days to proceed uh, all, all, all the process, and, uh, starting from the moment when the person already bought the property. But before the property should be bought, uh, the person must be aware to double check that the property is eligible for the Golden Visa program. It's very important, especially for the property which is uh, 300 and, uh, 350,000 <coughs> euros, because uh, this is a type of properties which should be in the special area, which can be reconstructed and uh, it should be evaluated by architects before to, to double check that this property is illegible for this program, okay? All right, and what about uh, if two or three people, mm -hmm. they are uh, doing a partnership, Yes. they open a company mm -hmm. to buy this property, yes. so they all are eligible yes. and all, all uh, of their families they could uh, get uh, the benefit of this uh, yes, they can. But uh, first, golden visa. Yes, but first is going to get the residence title, the person who are making the investment. Okay, so for, uh, suppose uh, if four people, yes, uh, they open a company or they are buying a property worth yes. uh, 500,000 euros. Yes. So all these four people, or they need 20? Uh, no, 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 no. That if there is a four people, they must find a property which is going to cost uh, starting from two, uh, two million euros. Two okay? million euros, okay. Because there are four people. Each person should make an investment starting, each person must have an investment starting from 350,000 euros. Each one per person. Ah, okay. So, so they can buy one property, yes, but the property must have a much more value. Ah, okay. So it's not, it so it's not course. possible that uh, I do partnership uh, with one of my no. uh, business partner and uh, we buy a property of 500,000? Uh, no, you can, but uh, the residence title will get only one person. Ah, okay. So not one two. residence title is worth 500,000 yes. euros. Yes, yeah. and ah, the okay. property also. Ah, okay. So two people with 1,000? Yes. Ah, okay. All right. So this is a very, very good question so many people ask because people think that if they do any partnership mm -hmm. so no, if no. someone is paying another one could get uh, the benefit of this uh, golden visa no. scheme and uh, after I suppose uh, if uh, uh, one is getting uh, this uh, residence title 
So what about uh, the family procedure, uh, about the wife and the kids uh, with this golden visa scheme, they could get... Uh yes, it's the same process. When uh, one person gets a residence title, another person can proceed with a family reunion. Okay. Ah, just uh, like... Uh yeah, that's a normal process. All right. And uh, how long uh, the card will be valid uh, uh, with it's this golden visa it's scheme? It's going to be valid for five years. Five years? Yeah. The first card is for five years? Yes. Ah, okay. And uh, how long uh, they have to stay here? For how many days? Uh, uh, in one year or five years? Uh, as they as they have a right to stay out of Portugal six months in a year. In a year. Yeah. Six months. Yes. Uh, it's not like uh, a few days or. Uh, no, it's six months. On this golden visa scheme. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, if someone is a Portuguese uh, national, I just had this question. Uh, sorry, I forgot to write uh, your name on my paper. So, with, uh, if someone is Portuguese, mm -hmm. Portuguese citizen, uh, and he wants to bring his wife, so mm -hmm. what documents he need and where he could apply? For uh, a visa? Yeah, for his wife. Okay, so uh, if the Portuguese person is here in Portugal yeah. and the wife is in another country, yeah. for example in Pakistan yes. or in another country, he must, uh, and they are married, uh, he must uh, uh, collect all the documents regarding their marriage certificate, uh, he must provide uh, the accommodation here in Portugal. He must show the bank statement uh, that he is... Uh, Which office he will go to? No, he will not go to the office. He will okay. collect all the documents by himself okay. in Portugal. After, he will send all the documents by post okay. to her in yeah. Pakistan. Yeah. And after, she will collect all these documents and go to the embassy of Portugal in Pakistan. All right. Unfortunately, the embassy is not working... Uh, not fully functional, they are doing uh, the family reunion visas, mm -hmm. but they are not accepting uh, any applications. Then she should go to the nearest um, embassy of Portugal in another country. In another country. One. But they will not asking, uh, they will not say that, uh, suppose uh, if wife goes uh, in Dubai, mm -hmm. that's the nearest country and uh, it's also very easy to get the mm -hmm. visa. So if she goes to Dubai, mm -hmm. they will not ask why you came to us, uh, you have already uh, embassy in your country, in your own country? No, no. If there is an official information that the, the embassy in Pakistan is not fully functional, no, there is no problem about that. But and only if it's an official information. Okay. And the uh, embassy will not say that you are not a resident in Dubai? No, there is no problem about that. But the only thing that, uh, that the people should be sure about that, that it's if in the official website of Pakistan it's written that uh, there are limited number yeah, yeah. of application yeah. that they accept. Yeah. In this case, there is no problem. Okay. All right. So, and what about the rules with the European uh, national? If suppose a uh, husband is here, mm -hmm. but he got uh, his French passport or B British passport, yes. and he wants to bring his wife here. It's, it's, it's the, same. the same rule? It's the same rule. The Port same. Only Portuguese embassy will entertain them? Yes, it's everything is the same, but before that the person should go to uh, Camara Municipal and ask for the certificate uh, in Portugal for five years. Ah, okay. So with that... Uh, yes, and the, the rest is the same. All right. And that is done. Uh, Mr. Zia Mahar, uh, he's asking uh, uh, that... He's saying that he has uploaded uh, all the documents uh, and he got uh, the contract from the company of agriculture okay. but unfortunately the company is uh, uh, they had some problem and uh, is uh, fined by the authorities mm -hmm. so maybe he mean to say that company is blacklisted now okay so does it affect on his file or no yes it is it is if he will not switch uh, to another job it will affect yes because uh, uh, the self is checking each company yeah. uh, if it is in the blacklist or not okay. if your company is in the blacklist uh, it's not possible to proceed uh, with an application all right zia mehar sahab better hai aap apni job jo hai wo change kar le ye aapke liye better hai to ab main un doston se request karunga jo kafi der se idhar whatsapp pe calls karne ki koshish kar rahe hain please uh, you may call now so i'm going to take your call and uh, how long you can uh, hold it? Uh, <laughs> it's what, what? I'm just kidding because it's a. Uh, no, no, we have uh, we have some time. All right, like okay, thank you very much. 20, uh, 20 minutes. Ah, okay. Uh, here I had uh, one question from uh, Mr. Ahmed. He's living in Algarve and he's saying uh, that uh, he wants to get married. Mm -hmm. 
it was better, Mr. Ahmed, if you write that to who you're going to get married, I mean, with a Portuguese citizen or who. Uh, he lives in Algar, and uh, he's asking. Uh, he applied for the residence card, and uh, till now he, he has no answer. Uh, the file is submitted on the 7th of June. Mm -hmm. So, but he want, he's, uh, go, he's going to get married. So, what will be the status of his old file? He should continue with the old one, or uh, his status will be changed after the marriage? No, he should continue with the same file, but when he will get his residence title, he needs to call, go back to SEF okay. to change his status from uh, unmarried to married. This is the only difference will be. All right. Uh, we have a couple of questions here. Uh, Gurtej Singh, Sasikal Paji, I am watching your live session. Just want to ask you if someone still have a valid visa from some other country, can he travel out of Schengen zone after submitting the application? Yes, it's possible. Or there is going to be a problem? No, there is no problem. If there is a valid visa, he has a right to travel, yes. No problem. Ji Singh Ji, koi masla nahi, koi rola nahi, janab. Enjoy karo jithe marzi jao. No problem. Uh, the next question is uh, deleted here. When someone come to direct to Lisbon instead of Italy, do they need uh, for legal entry process? If not, that the next step will be after arrival. Please advise. Uh, we already given this answer that if if you are coming directly to Lisbon. So you don't need uh, to have a legal entry because uh, you already have stamp uh, on your passport by Portuguese uh, immigration officers. Big call, brother. Okay. Salamuna. Salamuna, Janab. Salamuna. Pakhairde. Sange alde. After exchange the five-year permanent residence card in Portugal and uh, get one-year Portugal, one must be work or pay the tax for renewal. When somebody has a... Uh, uh, five-year residence, mm -hmm. uh, permanent residence okay. card, and get a one-year Portuguese, uh, one must be work or uh, pay the taxes for it. He's asking uh, for next renewal of the, after uh, uh, when the first residence get card gets expired. Yes. So, uh, does he need to pay the taxes for the renewal or no? No, no, he doesn't need to, know. जी जनाब आपको टैक्सेस पे करने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि आपका जो ऑलरेडी है वो परमानेंट कार्ड है आपके पास सलाम भाई मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि मैं विजिट वीजा पर एंटर हुआ हूं यूरोप मेरा वीजा एक्सपायर हो चुका है अनफॉर्चुनेटली इटली मैं पुर्तगाल एंट्री नहीं करवा सका मेरा सवाल है अगर मैं पुर्तगाल आऊं तो क्या यूरोप वाली लीगल एंट्री वहां चल जाएगी कौन सा आर्टिकल अप्लाई होगा वी हैव ऑलरेडी आंसर्ड दिस क्वेश्चन वी ऑलरेडी हैव आंसर्ड ओके even back to India, no problem. Uh, Mr. Gurjeet Singh, uh, he's asking uh, uh, even he go back uh, to India. Yes. So no problem. Uh, if uh, he has a valid visa, he can come back. Ah, okay. Uh, yes, Mr. Gurjeet Singh, you, you may go back uh, to your home country and you can come back. So there's no problem. Okay. Calls. So if somebody wants to make a call, you may do now. We have missed so many calls during our live session. All right, was your legal entry or finance number banwaliya ho to aage kya procedure hai jab marzi start kar sakte hain? Akil Sadiq sahab already aapko bhi jawab de diya hai is sawal ka. Ye agar aap shuru se dekhenge to badi detail mein discuss ho chuka hai. Sir, I changed my contact but file locked with blacklisted. Uh, Mr. Zia Mar uh, is uh, saying that uh, this agriculture company mm -hmm. uh, which was blacklisted, mm -hmm. but the, uh, his file was already locked mm -hmm. with that contract. Oh, no, there is no problem, but on the interview, he had to present the new contract from another company. Ah, okay. There is no problem. Yes, you will go with new contract, and inshallah, the Thora Lilia is carrying out that inshallah, there will not be any problem. Salam Saji, I want to know, please, what is capital social? Can you please list? Mr. Ali Adiz, uh, he's uh, asking uh, with agriculture company mm -hmm. why people get uh, uh, the finance number in just in 15 days. Social security number? Social security number. Yes, they get is. so quickly, but in other companies, in LDA companies, uh, it took uh, more than three no, months. No, it's like it's a, a coincidence. Coincidence? It's, it's, not, it's not the rule. Ah, okay. 
علی دی صاحب یہ رول نہیں ہے اتفاقا ہے اگر کسی کا جلدی آ گیا یا کسی کو تھوڑا ٹائم لگ رہا ہے سردار ادنان ہی آسکنگ وٹ اف مائی امپلائر ڈیڈنٹ پے ٹیکسیز If he doesn't have a pay, if he didn't pay taxes, you must go and um, uh, proceed uh, with a, um, a declaration of this information that uh, this is a crime. This is a crime. If you are officially working with a working contract and your contract is registered and uh, you are not paying, uh, uh, they are not paying the taxes for you, it's a crime, okay? So you have a right to go to the social security office and to write a letter concerning this issue and uh, they are going to make uh, all the legal matters um, with uh, the company owners and uh, they will push them to, to pay that, okay? All right, we have our first call from uh, Mr. I don't know, please. Uh, G, sir, who are you talking about? Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, G, sir, uh, I had a message for you, I'm talking about Gurtej Singh. Yes, Gurtej Singh. I have a question sir. for you uh, from one of my friends. Yes, please. Uh, I just want to ask you, his dad, he's in Germany at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, please carry on. <coughs> yeah. So, uh, my friend's dad is in Germany at the moment and he wants to come here. And all I want to know that if he come here and if he applied for the, you know, the same procedure, and can he go back and extend his visa from Germany and come back as well? Extend the visa where? Uh, well, he can, uh, he can go to Portugal and can make uh, the residence title process in Portugal, yes. And he can make the extension of the tourist visa in Portugal. He doesn't need to go back to Germany to proceed with an extension of the tourist visa. So he can extend his uh, visa in Portugal as well? Yes, the if, if the visa is a tourist visa, yes, it is possible to extend it in Portugal. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's all I want to ask. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, then. Thank you. All right, thanks for your call. Thanks. Good luck. No problem, thanks. All right. Salam, brother. You are doing so well. Allah, aapko aise hi khush rakhe. Aapki sir. My question is, been seven months since I submitted documents in seven. Now can I skip one, two taxes? I mean, I can I go anywhere in Europe and I won't be able to pay taxes? Will it affect on my self-interview for getting first card? My question is, it's been seven months since I submitted documents mm -hmm. in the CEF. Mm -hmm. So, he's asking now, can I skip one, two taxes? I mean, can I go anywhere in Europe and I won't be able to pay taxes? Will it affect on my self-interview or getting the first card? So, the person submits documents seven months is, yeah. and he is not receiving the email yet. No, it's not about email. He's just asking, uh, is it possible if he goes somewhere in Europe? Yes, he can like, go wherever uh, he wants to. He's not working and... If, uh, if he's having the valid visa, he can go wherever he wants to go. Right. But if he will skip the taxes, yeah. there is no problem. He can skip it. All right. The next call is from uh, Italy. I don't know who is speaking. Yes, please. Oh, uh, Alikum Salaam. Adil, my question is that Italy's five years papers are it's possible if somebody has a five year you have a residence card sir yes asylum asylum five years asylum card from italy they could change or convert their it's not possible to exchange it in portugal it's not possible the asylum card he needs to reject his card in italy come to portugal and ask in portugal for asylum it's not possible to exchange this type of card Okay, sir. Anything else? All right. It's okay for my friend. Uh, one more question, sir. I cannot call. Okay, it's already answered. Okay. In Article 88.2, Mr. Prab Kheda is asking uh, how many taxes we need to pay. Uh, if uh, the person have a legal entry, it's three taxes. If without legal entry, 12 taxes. All right. Okay, so how many, how much time before we can take on for a new residence? 
how much time before we can make an appointment uh, to renew our residence card before uh, only starting from 45 days until your resident will um, uh, will be expired before this time it's not possible I got self approval letter uh, and put the case in the embassy. Can I book an appointment? Ah, okay. Uh, Ms. Sana Javed, uh, she's asking uh, that uh, they have already approved uh, uh, regroupment of familia. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's asking it's possible that uh, she hasn't got any visa yet. She's in another country. Like she, uh, I think she's in Pakistan. Okay. And it's possible to make uh, the appointment in the CEF for yes. the first residence card uh, without getting this visa or anything? Yes, it's, it's possible. possible. Yes, it is. All right. Is it possible on uh, an illegal entry and how long it will take to get to the end after how many taxes? Yes, sab bata diye hain. Kasim Sultan sahab in sab sawalon ke jawab de chuke hain. Man, can it easily visit to Pakistan, have work permit visa? Okay, if someone holding one of a European country passport and he want to sponsor his non-EU visa. Uh, Mudassar Hanjara sahab, iska jawab bhi abhi abhi diya thodi dar pehle. I think uh, we have done it. Uh, if anyone wants to ask any question, please write now. Uh, after that, I'm gonna just uh, switch it off. It's a very, very long yes, time. You, you One can, hour and 35 yeah, but, minutes. But you can still uh, write uh, the, the questions yes. uh, and, and, uh, be under our video, and I will try yeah. to answer them in the written form. Lady, if there is a question of someone, if there is a friend of mine, then you can write your question in the comments, and inshallah, uh, Dr. Lili Isaac is uh, saying that I will try to give the answer to her. Adil, why it's been eight months? Uh, what about those people who don't have any visa? Is Kabi Jawab de Dia, Kabi Raja Saab? Yeah, so these kind of uh, all the comments. By we already have uh, yeah, answered so actually. If, if some of them is not answered, I will go through them. Okay. And I can answer one by one in the comments. So okay? kind of so you, the don't, don't, don't worry about that. If I log my file and went back to home country and then I came back to Portugal, so what will be my file status? What will be what? If somebody has already logged the file yes. and they go back uh, to their home country yes. and they come back. So what will be the status of the file? No, everything will be fine. You, you if they have a valid visa. Yes, there is no problem. G. Mohsin Khan sahab, if you have a valid visa, then no problem. Adil Bawa Jat sahab. Salam brother, what's uh, the process if someone British passes over, can he bring uh, his wife here from Pakistan or any relative? Yes, we already told about that. This yeah. is Adil Bawa Jat sahab, if you have our interview with Bara, se dekhenge, so, we have given the answer a little bit earlier. We have given the answer a little bit earlier. We have given the social number without social security number. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Mr. Ali Adiz. Yes, we can. 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 Uh, sir, please ask her how many days uh, we can stay out of Portugal with one year and two year cards. It's the same time, six months. Uh, with first card? Adrian, preciso estar fora de Portugal. Três meses. Três meses? Primeira cartão, três meses. E segunda cartão, oito meses. Quanto tempo preciso estar fora de Portugal como título de residência em Portugal? Quanto tempo é possível? Sim. São seis meses consecutivos ou oito meses ininterruptos. Ah, ok. Fora, se ultrapassar esse período, o, o cartão pode ser cassado. Sim. Ok, please repeat. So it's uh, six months, uh, six months uh, uh, ongoing time or eight months, but uh, part-time. Part so it can be two weeks today, two weeks next month, so one month in one month. So not one period of time together. All right. Any other question? Okay, sir, please can you confirm again? I have a residence card from Cyprus. How many tax I need card is valid until 2023? Uh, Prab Khera is asking that he got a card from uh, Cyprus mm -hmm. and uh, which is valid until 2023. Yes. So how many taxes uh, he does need uh, to have uh, the first His card of Cyprus from? doesn't valid in Portugal and okay. he will make uh, the same procedure as all other people and if he, he will have a legal entry, yeah. he will need to pay three taxes. Okay. 
जी प्रभ खेड़ा साहब सॉरी अगर मैं आपका नाम मुझसे मुझे नहीं पता मैं ठीक कह रहा हूँ या गलत कह रहा हूँ तो आपका ये जो साइप्रस का कार्ड है इसकी कोई वैल्यू नहीं है यहाँ पे इसका कोई कनेक्शन नहीं है पोर्टुगीज लॉ के हिसाब से और राइट थैंक यू एवरी वन आई थिंक इट्स इनाफ फॉर टूडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी वेरी मच फॉर बींग सो काइंड एंड रिस्पॉन्डिंग ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन and uh, thank you everyone yeah, thanks thank you so much pakistan is in portugal pakistan zindabad pakistan paindabad stay happy and blessed everyone allah hafiz yeah thank you so much i want you